flown on flight-proven boosters. Reusability allows SpaceX to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down the cost of space Stage access. One fuel load is it, is also, it also allows us to increase our launch cadence and provides more flight opportunities for our customers, like those on board today's mission. Last year, we launched more than any other launch provider in the world. On our first transporter mission earlier this year, we launched a record-breaking 143 spacecraft, which is super cool. And while there are fewer customer spacecraft on board today's mission compared to Transporter 1, we are actually launching more mass to orbit on this mission than the previous one. Several of the customers on board today's Transporter 2 mission have multi-launch agreements with SpaceX. So some of the names that you'll hear a bit later in the webcast might sound familiar to those of you who have tuned in for previous rideshare missions. We're targeting three dedicated rideshare flights to sun-synchronous orbits per year, and we also offer opportunities to ride to orbit on our Starlink missions, which launch every couple of weeks. Small satellites can ride to space on SpaceX's Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, as well as Starship in the not-too-distant future. If you're interested in learning more about the rideshare program or want to reserve your own spot, head on over to our website at spacex.com slash rideshare. We are just under five minutes to lift off. Falcon 9 is now moving into the final stages of the countdown. Uh, any moment now, the strong back will begin to open up its clamp. Uh, once open, they will retract away from the rocket to its pre-launch position, about two degrees away from Falcon 9. And as Falcon 9 lifts off, hydraulic arms will pull the strong back farther away uh, to make sure that it is clear during liftoff. Strong back retract has started. And so there was the call out for strong back retract. Uh, you can see the clamp arms just under the fairing start to open up. The strong back is part of the transport erector, also called the TE. Again, its job is to roll Falcon 9 out to the launch pad, raise it to a vertical launch position, route power, fluids, and communication to both the rocket and satellite. And you can start to hear some of the hissing and popping, and that is pressure venting from the rocket and the plumbing in the transporter erector. So at this stage, the strong back should be uh, reclined to its pre-launch position, two degrees away from Falcon 9. The vehicle remains in good health. The first and second stages are almost done fueling. Um, gaseous oxygen is also vented from the base of Falcon 9. That is the chillin' of the Merlin engine turbo pumps. About a minute before liftoff, you will hear the announcement that Falcon 9 is in startup, which means that the rocket's own internal computers are now autonomously controlling the launch countdown. And just to check quick in on weather, we're still green. The range is standing by to support today's mission. As a reminder, if we don't launch today, we do have a backup opportunity tomorrow at the same time. For those that are just tuning in, on screen is a live view of Falcon 9. Uh, at Space Launch Complex 40 off the coast of Florida. We are in the middle of the Transporter 2 mission. This is SpaceX's second dedicated SmallSat rideshare mission. Stage two locks load complete. And there was a call up for second stage locks loading complete. That is the last of propellant load. Falcon 9 is now fully fueled and ready to lift off in about a minute and 40 seconds. This is the eighth time that this booster will be flying today. And a bit later Ground on in the mission, started. we'll also be attempting to recover it for the eighth time back at landing zone one. So you can start to see some white clouds forming around Falcon 9. 
That is normal and expected at this stage in the countdown. That is cold, dense liquid oxygen meeting the warmer ambient air of Florida and starting to condense and form those white clouds that you see on screen. White computers and startup. So we have some excitement here in Hawthorne, but Continue Falcon count, 9 is no good. We'll hold it 30 seconds of range. Status is not changed. Falcon 9 is in startup, and this means that the first and second stages are beginning to pressurize for launch. We're just about 20 seconds away from liftoff. LD, this is RC on countdown range is no go. Repeat range is no go. Hold, hold, hold. And we did hear the call to hold. Give us a second. We're going to check in with the teams and see if we can get some more information for you. The countdown hold due to a failed range. So we did have a hold. It uh, looks like the range was a no-go. There might have been an airplane in the area. We do have a backup opportunity tomorrow, but for today, that's going to do it for us. Uh, hopefully, you'll join us tomorrow for um, uh, the next launch attempt of Transporter 2.